Hey guys, welcome back to the tune up. James 1.25 says, but the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. Being God's man will never be easy. But those who have passed the test did so because they successfully overcame the opinions of others. They successfully fought their own feelings and weaknesses of character. And they successfully contended with spiritual opposition. Abraham of the Old Testament was God's man. God said, Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements, my commands, my decrees, and my laws. Caleb, one of the spies sent by Moses to survey the land of Canaan, voiced the minority opinion that the Hebrews could conquer the promised land. He became God's man when he expressed faith in God's promises. King Asa of Judah had the spiritual stomach since Solomon's early years. He fully obeyed God's command to eliminate false gods among his people. The Apostle Paul commented, commended the Roman believers when he said but thanks be to god that th though you used to be slaves to sin you wholeheartedly obeyed the form of teaching to which you were in entrusted and most of all the complete obedience of jesus paid the way for our, our salvation when others back off the obedient press forward when obstacles scare others away the obedient look for the promise and stand on it. When others question God's word, the obedient risk taking God at his word and leave the results to him. The understanding of gratefulness, a, a, an attitude of gratitude, the total appreciation and acknowledgement of what has been given to his children and his promises for the future is the catapult, is the catapult for obedience. Hopefully this gets you something to think about as we wrap up this week. So until next time, may God bless.